Los Angeles has always been a kind of breeding ground for these kinds of privately financed mobility <laughs> ideas. And so we have to think of it first as part of a historical trajectory in Los Angeles that makes it very um, much at home here. Mm -hmm. And that perhaps gives it the kind of political traction that it's gotten in Los Angeles so far, rather than maybe its feasibility, which seems to me questionable. Beyond that, I mean, I think our focus is probably better on making the transit system that we do have in that we're investing many billions of dollars in better and more effective. And also there's something, again, fundamentally connected to an L.A. dream of perfect private amenity, which I think goes against the grain of where Los Angeles needs to and is moving, which is to say toward a realization that we need to think about shared space and right. kind of mutuality <laughs> and how we build the city. So to me, you know, this kind of idea of tunnels where you go in and your private car is just an extension of this notion, which I think has reached the limits of plausibility that you can live in a metropolitan region in Los Angeles that has sort of global importance, but you can do it by means of a kind of suburban right. mindset or idea about land use and mobility. Mm -hmm. And then I think we need to cr I mean, we need to move past that finally and for good. In your private car driving to work, you hit traffic. The idea is that we need to build a whole new subterrain infrastructure. It's kind of an extension of that <laughs> idea, yeah. which we need to right. move past. Head to midnightcharette.com to check out the rest of this episode and others.